Well, while I'm here in these beautiful surroundings, I've got all this time on my hands enjoying myself. I thought I'd share this little method I've got going on in, lo in loading solid bags. Now, it's nothing revolutionary, nothing new, but I haven't seen anything on YouTube or social media or anything like that. Um, but I like using it. I like using this method and talking of methods it's very similar to a method feeder and i'm sure there's loads of you out there that have um, used that before so yeah let's get on with it and i'll show you how to do it so these are my go-to bags they're from carp king and they're currently the cheapest bags on the market as far as i'm aware you know what they're brilliant okay so you can see here the size 70 by 100 mil which are perfect for a two to three ounce lead if you want to see the tests I've done on these bags and the dissolve times I've put a link at the top of the screen to that particular demo I'm fairly sure you'll be impressed with the findings okay so this is a little bit fiddly but trust me it's worth the extra few seconds okay so the whole object of this is to get your lead to hit the bottom of the lake with your bait always presented on top so pop your lead in with the hook bait on top and keep the hook link to the side of the lead a small PVA nugget can help hold the hook bait in place and let's proceed to load the bag but what we need to do here is we need to put our fingers underneath and support the lead but while doing this you need to make sure that all the pellets or your chosen small offerings sit on the top. Once the bag is full, you need to be able to see the lead through the bottom of the bag. Now if you can, if you can see it, then it's a result. The bag will always sit lead down and bait up. Now, if you're unsure, try it a few times in fairly deep water down the edge. Yeah, sure you'll go through a few bags, but it's worth the peace of mind. Okay, so now it's just about doing the usual stuff like you'd normally do, like um, apply your PVA tape or twisting and sticking like I tend to do. Um, <laughs> I think I'm too tight to buy the tape. So yeah, I suppose the uh, the rest is down to trusting that this actually works, but I guess that will come with time, the more you use it sort of thing. As long as you can see the lead on the underside of the bag like this, it will land the right way up on the lake bed. It's actually something I thought of when I was thinking about the times when I used to catch carp on the method feeder while I was on a feeder rod and I was actually targeting bream. Anyway, I guess the proof's in the pudding. <laughs> 